yeah, interesting one here. Uh, apparently, only Bonnie Airways and Jal are looking for creative ways uh, to, uh, given that they're, they're stalled at the moment and trying not to go out of business, they're actually um, doing interesting things. They are uh, seconding their staff to companies. They're offering them up as like temp staff to regular companies that you can train up and have work at your company. Um, so you know they're well, well they're basically furloughed but they're trying to find ways to give them income and for the company to earn back income off the work from their employees um they've also offered up uh, apparently you can have first class meals uh sitting on airplanes uh, at haneda uh apparently like for a ton of money it's like you know hundreds of dollars it's funny i i know i don't really feel drawn to go to an airplane to uh eat a first class meal but i must admit there's something i saw on a documentary once that Part of the reason airplane food is thought of as bland is apparently um, the sound, the droning sound, the humming sound of an airplane, um, the sound affects your sense of taste. And apparently, um, you know, some companies and some scientists that studied this properly, they figured out that um, it caused food to taste bland. And so what airlines would do to compensate for that is they'd actually go a little bit overboard on the salt and they found that they could actually overcompensate, they, they could compensate for the um, effect of the sound affecting everyone's taste on the plane it took a, a long time for people to figure this out but i must admit that makes me wonder would the food would the first class food taste not as good then or would it taste like too salty or whatever if you had it when the plane wasn't moving i don't know how that would quite work but that was one thing this shot is actually apparently uh not content to merely serve food on uh, airplanes that are sitting on the tarmac they are now offering wedding ceremonies for up to 30, 30 participants Again, I mean, you know, going down the aisle of a crowded airplane, even even a business class or first class section, I can't really imagine it as something that, oh, you, if you're into airplanes, I suppose, I mean, 127 million people, there's going to be somebody who wants to get married on an airplane. So, yeah, apparently this is something that they are doing. They've actually, and apparently they've already scheduled between May and uh, June, nine couples are planning to get married um, on airplanes on the tarmac at uh at narita so i suppose if, if you've always wanted to do that uh there's probably never well we hope there's never going to be another chance uh you know i wouldn't want this to be a regular kind of thing that happens to society so that's 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 something that happens uh personally yeah the, to me to me getting married in an airplane is like getting married in an elevator you know it's something you, you use because you have to i, I don't know many people you, <laughs> that would actually want to get married in an elevator it's just something that you have to use to get to a place where you would prefer to get married not be like getting married on the school bus it doesn't doesn't make sense to me but some people hey if that rocks your boat that is something that you can do